This video is covering the second assignment in the trig unit, which is just a little bit more advanced level of questions, but still involves one of the five things. So trig to solve for sides, trig to solve for angles are the two biggies, Pythagorean theorem, angle sum, or just flat out stating one of the six trig ratios with the sine, cosine, and tangent being the most frequently used. All right, so I'm going to cover some of these. Most of these you should know, and I'll talk about the harder problem at the end a little bit. Problem one, two sides in a right triangle are 8 and 12. We don't know what those two sides are, but it says find the missing side if these are the lengths of the legs. So the legs make the right angle. I always say trace the right angle. So you're doing 8 squared plus 12 squared equals your hypotenuse squared. We'll call it C. And then you want to solve that out. So you're going to add the sum of those two legs squared and then take the square root of that. Oops, I mean to do that. 8 squared plus 12 squared, 208, and then take the square root of that value. A lot of times it will not be a nice whole number, so 14.4. And that is if the remaining side is the hypotenuse. Well, what if the missing side is a leg? Okay, so that would have to mean that the 12 is the hypotenuse. So you would have 8 squared plus B squared equals 12 squared. So it just depends upon... Uh, and I will let you finish that problem, uh, what you're given. Remember, trace the right angle. So on two here, here's the right angle. And I wasn't very good at putting in the right angles here. So it must be that 10 squared plus 2 times the square root of 39 squared. Oops, I messed that up. All right, here. I get under here and get this done before tomorrow. All right, so 10 squared plus two times the square root of 39 squared has to equal 16 squared. And it does. So trace the right angle. That tells you what two sides to add together uh, squared. So you're just doing that test on those. I think you know number three. I think you know number four. A little ladder problem on number five. Remember, you want to, as you're stating the ratios, set the triangle up for that particular angle. So now you're set up in this right triangle to do all the ratios at angle A. And then you're going to flip over to angle C right here. And then the A and the O flip around. The H remains in place. So this becomes the adjacent when you're referring to angle C. And again, I think you can do that. Um, you should be able to draw the right triangle that represents problem five. Problems on this page are getting a little bit more um, involved. You do need to realize that this is a right triangle. Draw a right triangle. Draw a right triangle. And then try to make it as realistic. So John leaves uh, school to go home. So school is right here. Home is here. He walks six blocks north and then eight west. Of course, on my template, this is not to scale. That doesn't matter. You just need a drawing. And so how far is John from the school? Well, you need to do six squared plus a squared plus eight squared equals And when you do that, you will get 10. All right, so a lot of this um, is just literally about setting up a right triangle. Be a little careful on 10 of the scaling. This was confusing. So this is 6 right here. You do need to make a right triangle. That's how you're going to get, and this is the hypotenuse. This is 6, and this is 2. 
So, and this is your right angle. So trace out this, you know, when you trace that, there you go. And then finish the problem, which I will let you finish. That most of these you've had uh, in the first um, go around first assignment, but I do need to talk about this tier three problem and it's having to do with this small schematic. So what I did is I just put this all on this next page. So it's this bolt um, that you're looking at and this is like the top of the, the, the head of the bolt. And so we need to figure out in order to do this, to make these bolts, um, the positions on a grid um, where all the question marks are, are, are. So what you need to do is you need to understand that you're solving this right triangle right here. Me. And it's probably best in this case, and yes, all these right triangles are the same all the way around, to use rules of um, 30, 60, 90. You, you can do right triangle trig with it, so that makes this 30 up here. Uh, you can use you know right triangle trig to do it, um, but when you do it, this is what you get. And if you decimalize two times the square root of three, that's okay. Now that you know these lengths, you're actually able to figure out what all these coordinates would be. So obviously here, I'm just going four more to the right and this would be eight, two. This one right here. And then here I'm going two more to the right. So this would be 10, but then I'm adding two times the square root of three to this Y value of two here. So in my answer key, I put two plus two times the square root of three. You can do a decimal. Okay, if you wanted to for that, that's perfectly okay. But you're figuring out, and I'm going to let you do this, so as I'm not ruining the problem, 5.5. But it's good that you state it like that, because then I know that you did this right triangle. But it's all about solving this right triangle. And then once you get all of these, so this would be 8, same as this, but I got to add 4 two two times the square root of threes to this height of two. So that's four times the square root of three. So I double this because it's this height here. And then if you wanted to decimalize that, so that's what you're doing. You're going to have a question like this on the quiz where you just find one of these coordinates like this, and it's going to be about solving a 45, 45, 90 or a 30, 60, 90 right triangle which again, you can use right triangle trig to do it. Um, you know, so you'd pick your 60 here and this is adjacent hypotenuse and opposite. So cosine of 60 would equal X over four. That's how you could start it. Um, and then you would do cosine of 60 times four equals X and then you would get two. Um, so you're welcome to do that. It's just by the time you end up doing this on the quiz, you'll know your 30, 60, 90 rules, and it'll be a lot quicker to do it that way. And then you can use the Pythagorean theorem, two squared plus question mark squared equals four squared and get two times the square root of three. Um, I only use that two times the square root of three because the square root of three times the shorter leg is the longer leg in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So if you go decibels the whole way, that is okay. And this concludes the second assignment in the trig unit for quiz three.